Will it run Doom? So what I've been doing is building this computer system. And as soon as I got it to the point where I could add two numbers together, people started asking the question. So I've been building this thing for over two years now. I've built a 8-bit pipeline CPU, a serial port. I've started a VJ adapter, a sound adapter, and I've got a SNES controller interface. So I've been building this all from discrete components, starting off on breadboard and then converting each of those circuits when I think they're finished to a final circuit board. Now I'm sure the majority of people asking this question are joking, but I think it's worth spending some time giving you the best answer I can. So first up, I want to show you this. Sorry, I couldn't resist. But stick around. I'm going to try answering an even more interesting question. How close can we get? But the minimum spec for Doom when it was originally released was an 80386 processor, that's a 32-bit part, with 4 megabytes of memory, and I think most systems actually recommended 8 megabytes for it. And that's vastly more than I've got. I've got 64 kilobytes of RAM. Now, the original loading screen was 320 pixels across, and I could barely fit that into my system. And any kind of 3D graphics is very dependent on your ability to move larger numbers around. And that's where a 32-bit processor really outshines an 8-bit CPU. Now, we did actually get this going on the SNES as a port of the original version, which was really impressive. Although that was a 16-bit device and it made heavy use of an internal coprocessor in the cartridge which Nintendo started to introduce to make more impressive 3D programs. So it's not a great comparison. Now, when I've been asked this before, I have said, well, it's a Turing complete processor. If we give it enough memory, it can do just about anything. So we could give it lots of extra RAM and run Doom at a very low frame rate. And we're probably talking seconds to update the frame. So it's going to be very unsatisfactory. But I didn't want to just leave this with a negative answer. So I've spent quite a lot of time working on a piece of demo code for this system, which I think you're going to find interesting. So let's take a look at that. So this is a demo I'm calling Doomed. Now it does bear a resemblance to one of the predecessors to Doom from ID Software, Wolfenstein. And it probably took me longer to write this demo than most of the other demos I've written put together. But unlike Wolfenstein, it does support walls that are at an angle and not just aligned to a grid. Okay, I spent far longer on this than I ever intended to, but I'm also incredibly pleased with it. When I first started the process of building this system, I said one of my primary goals was to develop some games for it. I've been working in the computer games industry for most of my adult life, and I have to say that the experience of coding this up and getting it running and seeing it for the first time on this system that I've built myself from the ground up is as rewarding as anything else I've done in that time frame. Now, I know this is going to be quite a short demo video, but I am going to prepare and launch a video on my extras channel, which goes into a bit more depth about how the various parts of this demo work, which I know some people will be very interested in seeing. Now, this whole system is really designed as an 8-bit era device. So I've very much been targeting the things I've built towards basic two-dimensional games of kind of scrolling and that style of graphics. But there's a long tradition in the games industry of really pushing the boundaries of what a system can do. So it's good to have done this. And as I build additional modules and components for this system, I will probably spend a bit of time and extend it a bit further. 
Now, when I first conceived of this, I had hoped to put in some enemies and some gameplay, and I may add that in future, but at this point, I've spent far more time on this demo than I had originally planned. I hope you'll agree with me, it was time well spent though. As always, thanks to my patrons, your support is very much appreciated. And to everyone else, I really hope you've enjoyed this. And if you're not a subscriber, I really hope you'll join me for the remainder of this trip. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye.